Hey, do you have trouble with limited mobility in your neck, arm, back, and torso area? Do you care for an elderly relative or neighbor? Do you have a child that's got lactose intolerance? Or maybe you have IBS and you just need something so you'll be prepared for an emergency. Well, I found this product you might be interested in. The Mighty Rock Portable Travel Bidet. Let's take a look. All right, so we're gonna take a look at this Mighty Rock Handy Care Portable Bidet. We're opening up today with the Mighty Rock. Sealed for your protection. Oh, yeah. Care manual. Awesome. Awesome. The Mighty Rock. The Mighty Rock. It takes batteries. Oh, there we go. That's how you put the batteries in, I guess. That is. Two AAA batteries. Alright, so we got a couple of uh, AAA batteries. AAA. I'm going to put them in here. Say which way? Oh yeah, it does. It's got a little positive and negative inside there. Positive, negative. Uh -oh. I'm not getting that on very good. There it goes. You have to push it down pretty good. Get that on there. Yeah. High and low. High. Low. Why do you turn it off? Oh, you just hold it down. Is it working the same on that one? Yep, just hold it down and it turns it off. See here on the part, it's got this little notch right here on each side. On the top of it, the res reservoir has a little notch right in the top there. It just goes in and turns. Turn out, turn in, turn in, turn out. And that's that. All right, so looking at these instructions, trying to figure those out, I think we've got it figured out. We're going to fill this reservoir up with water. And then we'll put the bidet on top of it. There's some little, little notches right here that go into right here. There it is, a little notch. And then you pull out the wand, the magic wand. Push your button whether you want high or low. Now it's got water coming out. You want to make sure you keep the reservoir to where the water is touching the bidet. So otherwise it's just pulling up air. And it's got to pull up water. It's got a little pump. to we'll pull the water up. You can even put this thing at an angle. I got him two times. There we go. Now let's see this. Let's put this to action. We're going to try to see about cleaning some butts with this travel portable bidet. We're going to try it one more time. Okay. 
was going out there pretty far away at about so it's probably about seven or eight feet. Let's try it on high. Oh yeah. High goes a little bit farther. Alright, so if you got a young child that's maybe lactose intolerant, you're having to run to the bathroom every five minutes, they got poo-poo running all down them. Maybe sometimes you don't have a handy wipe, a baby wipe with you. Maybe a baby wipe just ain't right for this situation. You might need the travel bidet. The handy, portable travel bidet. We'll get all that. Get all that poo off of there. Look at that, clean. Look at that. Clean as a whistle now. Clean as a whistle. Travel, portable bidet. Can't beat it. For those times, uh-oh, she still got a little bit running down her leg. She still got a little bit running down her leg. Uh-oh, we're almost out of water. There we go, we got it, we got it. All right, she's all good and clean now. She's all good and clean now. You know, sometimes when you're traveling, you don't eat just like the same regular foods you always eat at home. Sometimes you might eat something, or your child might eat something that upsets their belly, and you go to the bathroom and just a wipe ain't gonna do it, toilet paper ain't gonna do it. You might need the Mighty Rock Travel Bidet. Uh-oh, there we go. Clean all of that. There you go. Clean it up. Clean it up. Got it all cleaned up now. There we go. There we go. Get it all in there. Get it all in between the cracks everywhere. There we go. There we go. Ooh, God dang, turn that thing off. There we go. Now sometimes when you're out traveling and your little old baby just eating everything this and that and wants to go poo and all kinds of different poos and wants to go to the bathroom to use that bidet all by themselves, you take that thing and just leave it like an L shape and then she can sit here or he can sit here and just get all that off all by themselves. There we go. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, that's feeling better now already. Feeling better already. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Get all that out of there. Oh my goodness. There we go. We got it. We got it, she's clean. She's pretty clean, uh oh, she got it all over now. There we go. And then just turn it off. There it is, clean as a whistle. Clean as a whistle. Because when your baby's dirty like that, this is not the sanitary way to clean a baby's bottom. You just should not do it like this. You should probably use one of these. We're filming again today here at the lovely Wolf's Den Ranch close to Gatesville, Texas. Thank you so much to Dr. and Mrs. Falcone for letting us use their facilities. All right, so in conclusion, I'm thinking this is gonna be a very good product for accidents that might come up while you're in a travel situation. I would take this with me while I'm traveling just in case, just in case something happens and need a little bit more than toilet paper or baby wipes to clean up a messy situation. Thank you so much for watching my video today. You have a good night, good day, good weekend, whatever time it is you're watching, you have a good one. Please click like and subscribe and share to your friends. Thank you so much. Have a good evening.